the grave site of the infamous Naomi Wise. She lived from 1789 to 1808, where obviously she was murdered in the deep river by her lover. Somebody's even left some flowers here. I uh, just wanted to come visit her grave site here at Providence Friends Meeting. Well, now that I've shown the burial place of Naomi Wise, I figured I'd come out to Deep River and show where she was murdered. We don't know exactly where she was killed, but she was murdered somewhere around here near the Mill Dam, I believe, which is no longer in existence to my knowledge. But it is supposedly somewhere around these parts of the northern part of Deep River, right below Randleman Lake. Naomi Wise grew up as an orphan girl. Her parents weren't around very much. She was a poor girl, but she was also said to be very beautiful, which attracted a lot of attention, I guess, from the local guys. She ended up living at this family's house that took her in by the name of William Adams. She lived there at their house and they took her in. I think she pretty much became like another child there and did a lot of work for the Adams family there at their homestead. And uh, eventually she came to meet Jonathan Lewis, this man who would frequently visit Naomi at the Adams house. And I think Jonathan was, from what I've read, Jonathan was pretty attracted to Naomi and against his mother's wishes he wanted to marry Naomi while his mother Jonathan's mother wanted him to marry a girl named Hetty Elliot because the Elliots were known for their richness um, they had a lot of land they had a lot of rich family members they were good well-to-do family, unlike Naomi's family. So anyway, Jonathan goes around and he kind of tells Naomi that he just wants to keep their relationship on the down low because he doesn't want word getting out that he's trying to marry Naomi. Well, come to find out, he's also being in, getting involved with this other girl that his mom wants him to be involved with. Hetty Elliot. Well, all these secrets, they create a lot of rumors, and the town starts talking about these rumors, and that just gets a whole, get, makes a whole mess of things, and Naomi keeps asking, she keeps asking Jonathan when they're going to get married, and I think this kind of annoys Jonathan. He's trying to keep these two girls straight. All these rumors, and then Naomi keeps nagging him about when they're gonna get married. So, Jonathan eventually makes up his mind. He says, well, Naomi, let's go down to Deep River, and we'll walk up Deep River, and I know of a place where this magistrate lives, and we'll just get married down there. <clears throat> so they walk down on this night and they both meet down there by Deep River right here down by Deep River it was somewhere down in this vicinity and they both start walking down by the river Jonathan keeps getting closer to the river and Naomi's wondering what's going on well come to find out Naomi finally learns the news and Jonathan breaks it to her that he's planning to kill her down here by the river. About that time, uh, I believe uh, I believe the story goes that they were on horses and Jonathan grabs Naomi by the throat and they got in a little fight and 
uh, enough to knock him off his horse. So then eventually they end up in the water, in the river. And while they're in the middle of deep river right here, Jonathan pins down Naomi in the water, pulls her dress up over her head, ties it around her head, and steps on her throat to keep her under the water until she drowns. And right in the midst of all this, he sees some torches at the edge of the bank. Well, of course, he thinks they're all alone at this time, so he's frightened and he's thinking, oh man, he's probably been caught. So he sees those torches, which turn out to be Mrs. Davis and her two sons. Mrs. Davis lived down here by the water at the time. And so, he leaves Naomi in the water, which I think she was already dead at the time. He had held her under the water enough and probably beaten her up in the midst. So he takes off on the opposite side of the water of Miss Davis. And he gets away for the time being. And he actually escapes to another state. Eventually they trace him back and you can read more about the story if you want to, but um, I'm just talking about Naomi's murder. The town ruled that she was murdered, drowned by violence. I believe that very next day they ruled that. It was said that you could still see the, the finger marks around her neck from Jonathan so they could tell they could tell by that, as well as the screams that were heard by Mrs. Davis and her two sons, that it was not an accident. Come all you good people, I'd have you draw near. A sorrowful story you quickly shall hear. A story I'll tell you about, know me wise. How she was deluded by Lewis's lies. He promised to marry and use me quite well. But conduct contrary I sadly must tell. He promised to meet me at Adams Springs. He promised me marriage and many fine things. Still nothing he gave but yet flattered the case. He says we'll be married and have no disgrace. Come get up behind me, we'll go up to town. And there we'll be married and union be bound. I got up behind him and straightway did go to the banks of deep river where the water did flow. He says, now Naomi, I'll tell you my mind. I intend to drown you and leave you behind. Oh, pity your infant and spare me my life. Let me go rejected and not be your wife. No pity, no pity, this monster did cry. In deep river's bottom your body shall lie. The wretch then did choke her as we understand, and threw her in the river below the mill dam. But in murder or treason, oh, what a great crime, to murder poor Naomi and leave her behind. Naomi was missing, they all did well know, and hunting for her to the river did go. And there found her floating on the water so deep, which caused all the people to sigh and to weep. The neighbors were sent for to see the great sight, 
While she lay floating all that long night. So early next morning the inquest was held. The jury correctly the murder did tell.